what's up world? Elric Ferris here once again with my co-host JJ from ASUS. Now, today we're bringing you something a little magical. I'm using my wizard powers and you guys can see that I'm running a monitor without the video card even hooked up. That's right. You guys don't know it, but ASUS actually has the very first wireless technology that sends a signal from this to the monitor. Right, JJ? <laughs> no, I all right. wish. I all wish. Right. All right. No, I'm just joking with you guys. Actually, what this is today, this is combining the Lucid MVP technology in conjunction with the Thunderbolt. Now, you can see this is a benefit for gaming, and we're going to show you why this connection is really, really cool. For those folks wondering, why in the hell would I use a Thunderbolt connection for my gaming? We're going to show you why. So I think part of the important thing is that we, you know, we've shown in the other video that we did, right, that everything was running off the iGPU, right? So the integrated graphics processor that's on the Ivy Bridge chip itself. Hence all of this noise we hear, right? Yeah, in terms of our setup right here, that was all set up and that was all run. And that's great, you know, uh, it, if you're somebody that's a basic user, you're doing web browsing, you're doing normal video playback, going online, you know, Hulu, YouTube, things like that, it's not going to be a problem. Even moderate gaming is capable definitely on the Ivy Bridge GPU. Um, but if you're a serious gamer, you know, you're somebody that you know you want to play the latest games that are out there on the marketplace you're going to be using a discrete graphics card right now i'm totally with you you know i'm a big fan of rts and fps uh, and any sim games so i love playing games when i get the chance but to do that you need a serious gpu so in that type of situation how would an actual high-end or discrete gpu work with thunderbolt and that's what we're showing you off here so here we have the p8z77-v premium board and we've gone ahead and enabled the lucid virtual mvp software in the uefi to enable multi-panel display uh, as well as a multi graphics display. We've turned on the actual software in terms of allowing for this functionality. And as you can see, we've got our GTX 680 card, but nothing is connected to it. What's occurring here is that it's sending the information over to the actual Thunderbolt connection and the Thunderbolt connection in itself is then still actively working in terms of all other devices that we have connected, including our display. So as you guys will see in terms of the performance numbers that we've gone and recorded, uh, we've got some awesome numbers to show you that not only are we enabling this cool functionality of having essentially headless operation, but we can go ahead and enable things like virtual vSync and high performance, which actually can improve the gameplay experience. Oh, you guys will see this. The screen is ripping and tearing. You can see the screen is looking all nasty. As soon as he turns on the technology, you can see that go away and you actually the frame rates just go up tremendously. Yeah, I mean, and that's the cool part, especially in compared to the previous generation uh, for Lucid's implementation. It was predominantly focused at just enabling a discrete card uh, and then giving you access to the quick sync functionality, which was great. But for the gamers out there, you weren't necessarily getting a plus point. So now here, you get the best of both worlds. You could still have access to quick sync, but you're also gonna gamer-centric technologies. And then on top of that, for people that are interested in having the high performance benefits of Thunderbolt, you can also incorporate that into the mix and not even make it more complicated in terms of all the connections. Now, for any of you folks out there who missed the video we did be previous to this, that's where we actually introduced the Thunderbolt technology. But now you can see, we have these four LeSE drives hooked up right here. So we're going from the Thunderbolt into these drives and then into the monitor. So you still get the same MVP technology, but you also get to have all of these drives hooked up in a daisy chain before they even get to your monitor, which is just something that's really, really cool. Normally, you just hook up from your video card directly into your monitor and that's it from this you're going out from the thunderbolt into all these drives and then into your monitor i just think that's really really neat and on top of that all the performance would still be maintained so you could still be utilizing those thunderbolt enabled devices but still also gaming and essentially not be impacting the performance of either one because of the high throughput that's offered on thunderbolt so overall really cool impressive implementation 10 gigabits per second very very impressive bandwidth on the thunderbolt so that's it, folks. You guys can see that Thunderbolt is more than just new technology. It's also good for gaming as well. We'll see you later.